Well, good morning, Interbed fans, and welcome to Gravel Polytrack uh, Wednesday, the 4th of November. The American elections have been counted, and it looks like Donald Trump's going to get back in again. And um, that doesn't make any difference to South Africa because he says we're a shithole anyway, and uh, certainly not going to support us. But I'm going to try and support us and find some winners at um, Gravel, and I wish that you would subscribe. Please press the subscribe button and press the bell next door to it. You'll get notified of all my shows. We're getting close to the magic number, as is Donald Trump. First race, 12.30, it's a maiden plate, and um, they go 1,000 meters, and quite interesting race here. Battle of Sterling I went for last time, but he patently needed the run. Um, uh, he was supported in the betting, and the draw 10 didn't help him. He gets a 4-kilogram claimer again, and I think this horse has got some ability, especially on his run before this, uh, where he ran a cracking good second. Uh, so I expect him to be very, very competitive. Uh, he certainly was about 3 seconds off the time before. Uh, last time he ran, so he'll improve quite a lot, Battle of Sterling, and he might be a good value. Ziva Lewinter has been gelded and shows pace, gets Tristan Godden, that's number seven on the card. Stanton Street, look for improvement from this one. Uh, one Silver Palace, third run after a rest, looks like a big improver with Muzieni on, he's riding very, very well at the moment. And uh, they look like the ones that are going to fight it out. So uh, quite a tough race, uh, let's not linger, uh, looks like an improver too. Don't leave this out of your play. I think this will sort of be right there. Race two, maiden plate fillies and mares that go 1,400 meters, and this is a three-cornered contest. Um, my top choice here uh, might be Liana. I know that uh, Dennis Dreyer likes this filly, and the comment was very positive. He says she's had enough of a rest, and she's ready now. So that gives you a good idea. They put the blinkers on her, which is a big blinker strike, and she'll gonna take some beating. Reckless Love looks like a big danger. Second run after the rest, and she did need her run last time, so she could improve quite a lot. And then Duchess of Cornwall from draw one. Nicholas Patel has ridden the winner for MJ Woodendahl. Maybe he'll get it right here. What else? Um, Freedom's Fire might improve over the 1400, and that's number three on the card. Race three. Uh, this is a um, Handicap, merit rate of 70, 1,400 meters, and uh, I make this quite a difficult race. Pantsula we went for strongly last time, and I think that he could probably follow up. He only got a three-point penalty, which is a kilo and a half. He won pretty convincingly, came from off them. He likes a wide draw, this horse, as I said last time. He likes to come down the outside, head for the Golden Highway. Roy's Magic, course and distance horse, I look for big improvement from him. Cool Runnings looks like an improver, number one on the card, Dean Kanama, drawn one, as you know. And then Calgary, uh, Lyle Hewitson's run for Carl Hewitson. Uh, they're about to step onto the plate, the, those boys. The Ruffy Fever, got the blinkers on again today. Have a close look at him. Race four, merit rated 1,400 meters. And my top choice here is Marsam. If she gets away, this filly will win this. She's um, good enough to beat this lot and really looks like the right horse. Elusive Current won very well last time, and she'd probably be, be a big danger, but she's got a pretty high merit rating this uh, for a three-year-old, and she carries top weight, uh, and I think that she can't get half a kilo from Masan. I think Masan will hold her. Then what else is there? Um, 10, Keep On Dancing, got some sort of chance, and 11, Guadalupe, got some sort of chance. Uh, take a close look at number 13, Top Salute, the reserve runner, won extremely well the run before last and didn't run badly last time, gets a four kilogram claimer. Postage stamp on his back from draw one. Race five, conditional novice, Polly, a conditional novice. Well, I must tell you, I never heard anything about a conditional novice, but uh, it's obviously some way that they frame the weights. And as a result, you have a look at the weights. You've got to be with number two, Avenir. He was a very good second last time out, um, got caught out by the draw. I think he's quite a good horse, and I'd expect him to just about win. Brass Bell, I make him a big danger. He's um, uh, down two points. Uh, he's been running from a wide draw uh, last twice. He's got a good draw this time, big runner. Green Light to Heaven, look for big improvement from him. Warren Kennedy uh, from the very informed Gavin Fenzel stable. Uh, Spider's Corner, got some sort of chance, and then Ralph the Rascal, uh, Lyle Hudson for Alison Wright, that's number nine on the card, goes into all the play. Race six, merit rated 62, uh, field race. 
one Viking red looks like the right horse, but uh, when you're starting to uh, fancy seven-year-olds, uh, he's come down in the merit rating, then he went up a bit, and he's he really got to have some sort of chance because of the, the strength of the field. Uh, I thought uh, Rocket Rumba's chance as well because of the strength of the field. Karari's Cowboy's got some form, uh, having his first run for Patrick Lunn. Then Sea Sponge has got some form as well, and uh, Ishiketo with a two and a half claimer from a white draw has got some sort of form as well. Pickelin won a good maiden and we fancy them. Garland doesn't seem well in at the weights. So I, I just think it's a very, very difficult race. Let's move on to race seven. Mary Rate at 68, Phillies and Mares. Uh, Master's Beauty, I like the look of her. Dennis Fry's runner number two on the card. She'll run very, very well. Chatty Cathy, always there or thereabouts, cozy.com, three and four, those are, they've got chances. Sheik Storm's got very good chance form and gets Moosey again, that's a big plus. Uh, Green Ice, much improved last time, 